We showed you earlier, we showed you a video of milk. There it is. Milk being dumped by farmers. Um, this, is in, uh, this is in Wisconsin, I think. I'm, I'm trying to squint at that. Yeah, Wisconsin. I want to bring in Agriculture Secretary uh, Sonny Perdue. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I got these pictures of milk being dumped, and we are talking about trying to prevent food shortages. What's going on here? Well, Stuart, there is a uh, dislocation of demand. As you know, our restaurants are shut down, our in institutional congregate feeding are shut down, university schools and uh, all across the country. And many of these producers have, pri have uh, delivered to processors who serve that community. When there's re a relocation and a misalignment of uh, this demand, we worked as expeditiously as we could to get the milk where it's needed, obviously in our retail stores. So that's what's happening. When you see this milk being dumped, it's the processors that are not able to convert their lines into uh, consumer type packaging. Okay, there is, I believe, a 15, 15 billion dollar uh, effort uh, that's going to the farmers. I guess that's to support the farmers and help them out in times like this, 15 billion dollars? Yes, Stuart, it'll be best. Not only with the dairyman that has to dump milk, it's not only financially hurting, it's also emotionally hurting. This is their life, but this is their, this is their living as well, and that's what they like to do. But we want to have direct payments to farmers, but more importantly, as your initial story said, we want to purchase as much of this milk or other protein products, hams and pork products as other, and move them into where they can be utilized in our food banks and possibly even to international humanitarian aid. Is there going to be a shortage of some meat products, specifically pork, with the closure of that big uh, center meat processing plant there? Well, we hope not. Obviously, the United States has a very uh, synchronized, sophisticated uh, uh, supply chain. And for pork particularly, these are just-in-demand type of, uh, just-in-time type of systems where the, uh, the pigs are birthed, they're weaned, they go to feed, then they go to slaughter. When you have a slowdown in processing, which we're working on to sustain as much as possible there, then you have a backup in that. We think the food supply is uh, safe and sound, but uh, we have to be careful that we keep these workers. You mentioned earlier, some people are, uh, uh, are socially distancing. Many of these food supply workers have been working all along in a critical industry, making sure that our grocery shelves are stocked and our meat cases are filled. Okay. Uh, Mr. Secretary, thanks very much for joining us on what is clearly a very busy day and a vital day at that. We thank you for being here. Sonny Perdue, thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank Have you. It.